Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. WPLJ FM and HD1, New York, a Cuba station. It's 95.5 PLJ Reunion Day. Bring back all your favorite DJs from the past 48 years. 95.5 WPLJ, New York. Rock them all. Ride my All right. It's 95.5 PLJ. It's our reunion day. I'm Race Taylor. Joey Woo-hoo-hoo. Kramer is to my right. Special thanks to Todd and Jade and Annie and Monk for letting us scoot in a little bit early. Good morning, my friend. Hello, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Excellent. We have uh, no real map for today. Nothing. We've got not many commercials. We've got all kinds of songs and all kinds of memories to share over the course of the reunion special. The child DJ and all of us have been looking forward to this, where the program director says, do what you want today. Right, exactly. Right? There, there are going to be people that come into the station that you'll remember from the past. There will be phone calls from people who no longer live in the area. Through the magic of technology, some people will connect from the other coast where it's a different hour entirely. And we're going to share some stories and some memories, and we hope you have some to share as well. So you can hit us with a text at 95955. You can find us on social. We'll be posting throughout the day. And uh, at plj.com, you'll find all the other links to our social feeds if there's something you would like to share. I cannot wait to see some of the old faces come up here. It's, it's going to be, be a lot of fun. It's going to be phenomenal. What I think would be a great place to start would be with uh, what has lived online for decades. Ages. It's the work of Pat St. John. It's genius and it's brilliant. Yeah. You have to realize before we press play on this that the original piece is 18 minutes long. Right. And we've kind of edited it down to just the length of a a song. But it is called The Big Montage. And Pat, back in the day, would make these things. And they were musically masterpieces, how the lyrics and the music would line up to tell the story that he wanted to tell. And here's the crazy thing what a lot of people don't understand is way back when, we didn't have all this digital editing. Right. So Pat had a reel-to-reel. Probably a cigarette butt and big ash hanging out over the reel-to-reel machine. Exactly, a razor and it, blade. God only knows how long it took him. Because music was on vinyl then, so he'd have to take it from the vinyl and put it on to reel-to-reel, and right. then he'd have to find the place and splice it. And if you mess it, you'd have to do it all over again. So imagine going through this for how many hours to get an 18-minute piece. Daunting. We'll use it to start our day today. Here's just a little piece of the big montage on 95.5 PLJ. <laughs>
So it started right there with a tribute to New York City, and I it must have been like a few dozen edits at least. My my fingers are cramping up just listening to that, right. thinking about the editing. And and did he have bloody fingers? Like, we have to ask Pat that exactly. later. Exactly. How many late nights? Wow. Kind of curled over a reel to reel machine with splicing tape and a razor blade, and well before the technology that we have today. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's three times more the length of that, all those edits. Yeah. I mean, you hear a, a drop of his name in there. I hear a little bit of the band Boston singing New York City. Mm-hmm. So many other drops from the Four Deuces version right. of WPLJ. Ace Freely. Just how do you think of that? And then edit it. And then imagine you screw it up and then you have to go and I gotta now I've gotta put it back on the reel to reel. That's right. And then you find this place to string it back up. It's unbelievable, really. So this is just the very beginning of what will be a day filled with memories, names from the past, even your text messages here from the nine one seven. I remember PLJ when it switched from WABC FM in nineteen seventy one. I spent so many hours listening to the likes of Zachary, Tony Pig, Michael Cruz, and many others. I can't wait to find out who shows up today. We can't wait either. This is, I'm I'm, I'm like, it's like Christmas Day for me. (laughs) Seriously, I grew up listening to this radio station. This is going to be awesome. Take a step into your past throughout the day with us today. It's 95.5 PLJ. You say you'll be down in five. The smell of your perfume. It is 9.30 at 95.5 PLJ. It is our reunion day. I'm Race Taylor with Joey Kramer. Your Radio Geek Alert begins right now. TM Studios pays tribute to WPLJ. 95.5 WPLJ. For nearly 50 years, 95.5 PLJ has stirred the heart of New York City. And for the last three decades, TM Studios has been a proud partner of WPLJ. 95.5 WPLJ, New York, New York, WPLJ.
from all of us at TM Studios. And on behalf of New York City, thank you, WPLJ. Bringing back your favorite DJs that made PLJ great. This is 95.5 PLJ Reunion Day. Holy smokes. Mm. It's Race Taylor with Joey Kramer. We Tony, are cooking. Tony Banks is on the line from sunny Florida. And hey, uh, guys. we have another guest who has just walked into the studio. And if I could just maybe set the table very quickly. She is by far the uh, sexiest announcer I've ever heard giving traffic and weather. Can, can you say that one more time, please? She is by far the uh, sexiest announcer I've ever heard giving traffic and weather. Excellent. Yes, I remember that. This must mean Heather O'Rourke is in the studio. Hey, I haven't heard that in forever. <laughs> right? I think the last time I had headphones on, I was stealing my son's beats. <laughs> Oh so I, I'm ever since I left radio, this is one feeling that I've missed so much. Aww. Headphones. It is nice to see you here in the studio. Now, yeah. Heather, did your time here with a variety of shows ever overlap with Mr. Tony Banks? I believe so. Yes. Yep. Yeah, we yep. did. When I would do uh, the morning news, I would uh, tape my newscast with you. Oh, that's mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. And, and I guess I was some on that. traffic as well, doing traffic too. This is what today is going to be, because you never know who's going to walk down the hall right. or show up on the phone, and we're going to have some awkward goodbye conversation that we've been uh, trying to do since Valentine's Day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a pretty fair estimate of the timeline. Yeah. Is that uh-huh. right? Pretty much. All right. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm. So it's all uncomfortable, yeah. and it's all delightful, and it is all more than we could have ever hoped for, because when you walk out of the doors at PLJ, sometimes it's of your own volition, sometimes it is not. And the good thing is, thanks to social media, we get a chance to keep in touch, but we don't often get the chance to talk or be in the same room together. And that has been part of the magic of the last 14 days here, easily. So true, so yeah. true. All right, so um, I know Tony was talking about the fact that Smash Mouth from All Star was on the playlist when he was still here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a brand new song back then. <laughs> oh, took absolutely. Me back. Uh, yeah. And, you know, speaking of all-stars, you guys can attest to this. You never knew who you were going to bump into in the halls of PLJ. Oh, my God. Right? You in particular, Tony Banks, because there were times I remember a couple of guests in the studio, two separate times, in fact. Mm. And one of those guys I saw, and I was like, hey, I know that guy. And he was a good friend of yours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was, uh, I know who you're talking about. Uh-huh. He was our uh, secret celebrity 70s guest one night on Saturday night at the 70s. And we had listeners try to call in and guess who it was. You know, he was disguising his voice. And, uh, you know, whoever got it right would win uh, Six Flags tickets, I think it was. (laughs) And, well, it ended up being Sherman Hemsley, George Jefferson. Ah. And you know that guy stayed for the whole night and said, I I want to stay and host the show with you. I said, well, you're more than welcome to do that. That's awesome. Did he do the walk around the studio? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's hard. they made him on demand. Demand. legendary. Yeah. Right down yeah. the hallway. <laughs> and he was one of the nicest guys, too. Yeah. Just a yeah. sweetheart. And then uh, didn't Jimmy J.J. Have... Walker was another one. I, right? I remember walking in the back door where we all came in, and Mickey Rooney walked out, and I just, you know, do a double take, and it's like, hey, nice to meet you. And, and you walk in and go to work. But it's uh, you never knew who you would bump into at PLJ. Right. And then didn't uh, didn't you have some friends from uh, the band Tavares? Or we played all their songs oh. on the 70s show. There's some Providence guys. That's right. I forget about Tavares. There's the connection yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was magical times. It's so much fun. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah. That's great. Hang on. I'm doing a couple things on the computer here to get this ready because I happen to find some audio. We mentioned you never know who was going to be in the studio when you yeah. walked here. And I have a story that involves Heather. And since you're here in person, okay. um, I thought you might appreciate this. Lionel Richie, oh my gosh, had come to the radio station oh, oh, oh. to promote a brand time. new album. <laughs> yes, that I think only KTU may have been playing at the time. And oh. what was great was Lionel was just off the road with Tina Turner, and he was only going to talk. There was no performance, and that's the thing. An artist comes up sometimes you don't know if they're going to play or if they're just going to chat. So we thought let's just put a keyboard in the studio. And maybe he'll just kind of wander that way and we'll get an extra treat. So Heather was doing traffic for our afternoon show at the time and Lionel was here 
And sure enough, he stepped over to the piano, and we tried to get him to play some piano while Heather did the traffic, and it went like this. That's it. Awesome. Awesome. You can hear in your headphones Heather, who does traffic for us. How fantastic was that? Uh, Heather, where are you, Heather? I'm right here. You can't see me? I'm telling you, you, this voice just comes in out of nowhere. It has been Heather's dream forever to do a duet with you. Yeah. Heather, Heather, please. Only she would do the spoken word part as in the traffic. So if you could just go maybe through a couple chords. We've got a couple, like 30 seconds left with Heather before we lose her. Heather, here's your chance to shine, girl. Wow, this is great. Give us the quiet storm traffic. Okay, I'll try. Northern State eastbound side at New Hyde Park Road, a collision. BQE southbound at Hamilton Avenue, an accident takes up two lanes. We had an earlier problem on the Brooklyn Bridge inbound. It's reopened, misplaced tractor trailer cleared. And the Cross Bronx eastbound at the Alexander Hamilton Bridge, a tractor trailer crash leaves only the right lane open. Westbound, we have police department activity blocking one lane. This report is brought to you by Carfax.com. Buying a used car? Get a Carfax vehicle vehicle history report what you discover could save you thousands ask your dealer for a carfax vehicle history report or go to carfax.com i'm heather rogork plj real-time traffic oh. really good yeah, i'm nice. telling you <laughs> that stuck on you that was stuck on you <laughs> get out wow. how awesome is that that's so nice stuck on you oh. got this feeling down deep in my soul that i just can't lose guess i'm on my way Get ready, Helen. <laughs> Needed a friend. There's no singing. No. And the way I feel now, I guess I'll be with you to the end. Okay, Heather. <laughs> I can't do it. Come on, my right way. way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she glad you now she can do it. Yeah. Thank you, Heather. Thank she you. got nervous. I can't <laughs> believe it. that was the shot. I'm Who is you. not gonna get nervous? Oh, man. I don't want to ruin the song. It's too beautiful. Oh, right in the middle, I said, Heather, it's your turn. She said. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the way to go. <laughs> Heather's going to go change herself and then write in her journal. <laughs> Today was my best day ever. Uh, Thank you, Heather. We'll talk Thank to you, you a little bit. We love you. So, yeah. There we go. Nice. That was really, something. really sad. To get us oh. to what's next. Why did I sound like I was six years old? Well, we all were then, <laughs> right? Our parents dropped us off. We had fun in this playground, and then they picked us up, and that's how it was. More as our Reunion Day special continues on PLJ. House. Sometimes I don't remember when these songs are going to end, right? <laughs> it's 95.5 PLJ Reunion Day. How you doing? It's Race Taylor with Joey Kramer. Our friend Tony Banks has joined us. Heather O'Rourke is in the studio, as is Melanie Torres. Hey, hey, hey. A radio roundtable of guests continues. Mm-hmm. Tony, I know we're almost out of time with you. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me, guys. This was amazing. It really was. Um, and uh, just uh, thank you, PLJ. Thank you, listeners. The listeners were one of the most amazing things about this radio station. They just had this great bond with it. It was it was uh, just a real magical time, you know. But, um, but you know, at, at our party last week, um, there was a quote that was, that was given up on stage, which I, I think was amazing. It was, yeah. uh, they said, don't cry because it's ending. Smile because it happened. Yep. You know? And yep. so true. We have a lot to celebrate with PLJ and, and how special it was to just, even for me, just be a tiny little part of that was uh, just amazing. So... Uh, God bless you all. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. If you would like to on social with uh, the PLJ handle, just let us know or let everybody know where maybe they can get a hold of you. Oh, you yeah. Know, at Tony share Banks. Your, share your home number. Share your street address because we're coming over for a health, <laughs> healthy dose of sunshine and some pina coladas by the pool. Yeah, you find me on Twitter at Tony Banks, and and thank you for having me, you guys. Awesome, man. You're the best, Tony. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you were here and we got to share all of this together. Me too. All right, man. We'll talk soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. It's 95.5 PLJ. I'm Race with Joey and Heather O'Rourke. Now, you have a day job. Or I do. I, can we call it a day job? <laughs> I don't job, think it's really? really a day job until it's the right. day is over for me, like which is the middle when of the, the night up. job. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how are things where you are? Um, things are great. I'm just uh, perpetually exhausted from mm-hmm. my quote unquote day job but it's fun it's a great place to be it's a lot different than radio yeah um you are a magician and always have been <laughs> running a board i don't know i was just talking to Melly torres about this that you somehow push these buttons and do this stuff and then you just kind of like pull it right out of your sleeve you're like there it is some people might not really say it's the sleeve 
<laughs> we have to be it, family friendly. Right. It does appear from somewhere. Right. Let me tell you, most most of the time it's a very happy accident. But thank you very much. That's very uh, sweet of you. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, your morning crew is gaining a brand new person. Tell us about yeah, this guy. Yeah. So um, we have a new meteorologist, and his name is. You may have heard of him before. Sam Champion. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, so sure, Sam sure. Champion's going to be joining us Monday morning uh, at 4.30 in the morning. That's when we go oh. on. Ooh, so, you know, geez. some people were a little upset because they wouldn't be able to hear him elsewhere. But if you're listening online right now, you can always stream us online and you can see Sam. There you go. Everything's on the Internet. Everything is there. It's yeah. crazy. Mm-hmm. It is absolutely crazy. I just retweeted something. So I was just on the Internet. While you see were talking, how that, works? See that, that is magic. Magi- magician. Uh, and Alex Lee is standing right behind you, looking through the glass, who often uh, takes your place when you're being a hockey mom. That's right. Somewhere. Mm-hmm. And, and by the way, is hockey season over for Daltrey hockey or no? Hockey season is. Does it wait? Hold on a second. It never ends. Right? Hockey season ends. Well, not for the professionals. <laughs> absolutely not, because it's just getting to the good part. No, now, he, he plays all year round. He's yeah. playing hockey. Yes, my daughter swims, and I believe I was pregnant with both of my kids on this station. You were. Mm-hmm. And, and if I could share a story with Alex, um, I don't know if you were around to hear this, but Heather would talk to us on the phone until they put her on the gurney and rolled her in. <laughs> That's, That's true. How in touch <laughs> we were. I remember hearing. Um, when they played, I guess a week or two ago, uh, your interview on Bernie and Sid, and they played that uh, when she was on, and you were like, my traffic reporter is pregnant and has dyslexia. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Why did I have dyslexia? I don't know that. Why I, don't, that I was... can't tell you. But yes, I, I did have uh, two babies in my belly up until the last possible minute. And, I don't, and then I think the whole birthing procedure was 47 seconds, and then she was back at home making bran muffins. It was really a, it's a beautiful a story. Muffins. No? <laughs> oh, those muffins. I would bring a bran muffin in almost every, every well, day. Not yeah. almost every day. It we day. are, because of this business, we are, uh, is the word victims of uh, consistency? This is what has to happen. Mm-hmm. I have to be in the city by this time. Yes. And I have to have all my information by this time. Right. And I have this three-minute window to have breakfast. And yes. I have to walk down the hall and get some coffee. Mm-hmm. It's just how it happens all the time. Right. So we would make fun of your brand muffin yes. religion. Yeah. It was <laughs> I think I can call it a religion. <laughs> Pretty much. I have a new religion now, yeah. but we'll talk about that another okay. time. <laughs> Remind us the shows that you were part of in the history of PLJ, because uh, I know it was not just our show in the afternoon. I did. Uh, I worked with Danny and Onions. Okay. I worked with Rin- Rich Kaminsky. Yeah, yeah. Um, I worked with uh, Rocky and Blaine. Yes, we're going to hear from them later on, and mm-hmm. I believe we found some uh, of their classic bits that we'll share a little bit later. I was the fill-in news anchor uh between Naomi and Patty for Scott and Todd. Wow, right, 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 right. And then, of course, yes, you. Our little and Joey and work with Joey. Yeah. Sure. Everybody. Well, it's fantastic <laughs> to see you here. It's so good to be here. It really, really is just great. And uh, I just wish we had more time to be able to do stuff like this together. I think that's what everybody hopes for mm-hmm. yeah. when it comes down to it. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit more time. Yep. That's all. Alex, are you going to be around in the afternoon to get us where we need to go? Oh, I will. I'll okay. be here. You Excellent. better do a good job. <laughs> I got Well, I got Heather Rourke shoes to fill. <laughs> right. here's, here's the deal. We're expecting 90-minute delays on New Jersey Transit. And I'm sure a torrential <laughs> oh, downpour will shut down the LIE sometime between 3 and 3. Set them up for the worst. Set them up for the worst. Okay. And then you can bring the good news yeah. and everyone is happy. And I look good. Awesome. <laughs> it is reunion day on 95.5 PLJ. WPLJ FM and HD1. New York. A cumulus station. It's 95.5 PLJ Reunion Day. Bring back all your favorite DJs from the past 40 years. 40 years.